Got it started. Some fresh spark plugs, some new gas. Led the brakes. So that thing was bone dry and it's somehow holding. There's gotta be a leak somewhere, but. I think cranked over first try with the jumper. Oh, it's disconnected, but we had a jumper on the battery. Smoking a little bit. Looks like the tack's working. Gas gauge is working. I don't think the battery gauge is working. Oil pressure gauge is working. The temp, I think, is moving up. So got two of the wheels seized up. Smoking. Now I get some new valve cover gaskets. one of the wheels that was seized up doesn't look too bad in there it's a brand new brakes a lot of dust that that oil is just from brake fluid and we're bleeding them but yeah it's turning now oh yeah they spin yeah all right all right this is the last locked up one Kind of rusty. What is this? What's this coil thing around it? It's it, it's to equalize the temperature of the drum. Huh. Is there a hole on the back of that? For uh, the trans uh, backing plate. One second. Back side. Oh. I did the last one. We could finally see it working off here. Working out a little. Just drove this thing around the block for the first time. Looks a little different with the hubcaps off. All we had to do was change the spark plugs, drain the old gas, put in five gallons of 91. And then uh, we had to, this wheel was stuck and then the front left was stuck. So we had to get that, take those off as drums all around. So this one wasn't so bad. This back rear just took a little three pound hammer to it. But this front left was a real pain. Took probably an hour just to get the, the drum off. The, when I got it, the the brake cylinder or the reservoir oh it's locked the reservoir was bone dry so i knew there was a leak somewhere i'm pretty sure it's in this one because this one was so hard to get off it was all gunked up from from the uh fluid sitting in there for years all i wanted to do was get those unstuck but my uncle came over and he had the compression tester we tested that it seemed good was like 130 to 150 and we already did the bore scope like a week ago so we weren't too worried about it i think fired right up um speedometer worked tachometer worked the oil pressure gauge worked the fuel gauge worked the battery did not work and what else the temp i don't think that was working and i don't think the clock is either but who knows so yeah that was cool i thought i'd just get it rolling today i didn't think i'd get it started and take it around the block looks kind of cool with just the black wheels no hubcaps And then I just got this in the mail. This is for the uh, stereo. 
the speakers. I took those out. Those are two eights that were in the back. Destroyed. So maybe go to Best Buy, get those. There's the two six by nines back here. I can't get a good look at those, but maybe I'll take them out later. Those will be easy to replace. I think it was like one, I think it was 190 for some good kicker ones. But yeah, this thing, I'm gonna try this later. There might even be a CD in there. I don't think this has Bluetooth or anything. It's from the 90s, I believe. Or that's what the speakers were from, dated 93. So yeah, I'll try that in a little bit. That's about it. I had no idea I'd drive it, drive it today. I only got reverse and first, first and second. I didn't even try third or fourth yet. I just took it around the block because I don't got plates on it right now. Man, I'm stoked. Did not think I was going to drive it today.